I got blonde hair, I'm a super saiyan now. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, ay. Okay, last year I was broke as fuck and didn't have the sit. Okay. Past tense, who my competition, I ain't having it. Okay. Plot thick as you could cut the tension with a knife. Okay. Jules looking like it's hit it, Ruby suicide, yeah. Suicide doors on the lamp, yeah. What's up, guys? It's your boy Steezy Films bringing you guys another video. Uh, today's video, I don't really know what I have planned for today's video, man. I just, I want to pick up the habit of whenever I'm riding my bike, I just want to pick up the camera and film something for you guys. But right now, I'm currently on uh, my red 2020 Dagoon 29er. Uh, this bike, honestly, it, up, it has its flaws. You know, it has its flaws. So what I think I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna go over five things that I hate about this bike. Now, starting with number one on the list, I absolutely hate the stem on this bike. Feels kind of cheap, you know. I'm not sure what material it is. Uh, it's definitely not aluminum. Maybe it's a, I don't know. Because the problem I had with my other bike is I swapped the bars, and it, as I was tightening the stem, uh, this actually cracked. So the stems on the bike could have been better. So and another thing is is a little bit short like you can just look at that right now just to tell that you know that that's short i'm not sure what size it is i'll probably put something up on the screen do some research but that stem is very 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 short so that's the number one thing i hate with this bike The second thing I hate about the Throne Cycles, the Goon 29 inch bike is when you get it, the sprocket comes with a 39 tooth uh, chain ring basically. And there's a 16 tooth free wheel in the rear. So the thing with that is, it's like a track styled feeling. Now, if you want to consider this like a wheelie bike, I don't think people out the box is gonna wanna be running a 39 tooth chain ring in the, in the front. Like it's just too big. It's gonna feel a little bit heavy when you're pedaling. For the track guys out there, yeah. But if this like is supposed to be like a wheelie wheelie bike, I don't think people is gonna want that uh, 39 tooth in the front. So I was able to do research where I found a chain ring that was 34 tooth that was compatible with the crank setup on this bike. So I made a whole video of that. I'll put the link to that in the description down below. So basically you could just, you know, I know I sound like I'm out of breath. I just went up this bridge, but basically you can order a chain ring for this bike. It's a 34 tooth, but you'll have to cut out uh, two to three to maybe four links off your chain. It depends, you know. I've always messed up when I'm cutting links off, so I would prefer you have a bike shop do it. Downtown is dead. I kid you not. This bike almost just fell in the water. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's crazy. Now, a third thing I hate about this bike 
is the bottom bracket that comes with the bike. Let me get down and show you guys. So if you guys can see, right? I don't even know what bottom bracket that is or what tool can I use to take off that bottom bracket. Let's say I need to take apart the bike right now to get it powder coated. I won't have any tool with me to get the bottom bracket removed. I will have to go to a bike shop and I don't want to always have to go to a bike shop to get, you know, something removed, especially if I know I can do it myself. You know what I mean? Like save a couple of bucks. So I don't know what bottom bracket that is. It feels kind of crappy. I'm not going to lie to you, but one thing I can say about it is it doesn't make noise. So, you know, that is one thing I felt like throwing cycles can improve on the next models that come out in the future is the bottom bracket. So. so the first thing I hate about this bike is the stock brakes. They're just absolutely trash. Like, they barely work. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. That's which is kind of weird. Uh, they just they feel like I don't know. I kind of like touchy brakes, but I kind of don't. These just they barely grab. Like you gotta squeeze the lever all the way in for those brakes to grab. So a brake system I would recommend, or you have two options. What you could do, you could either get a box component or a Pro Max brake system. The brake pads on those things are good as well. Or you can switch the pads to some cool stops. But cool stops work for like a couple of rides and then further down the road, they just become trash. And another thing with cool stops are they squeak. So, or your second option is you can click the link in the description down below and go watch my guy Vegas Pedal Box video on him. Uh, converting the bike to a uh, disc brake so that's another option you have uh, further down, further down the line I'm gonna eventually convert my brakes to disc brakes but for now I'm just gonna run these brakes I'm probably just gonna change out the system with like a box component system because they make some really good stuff so uh, basically, I'll, I'll try to put a link down to the box component system down below in the description. I'm currently going to be running that setup on the black bike that I'm building. So. so the fifth thing that I don't like about this bike, the fifth and final thing is the crown on the front of the bike. Now that crown is not like something you can just remove with, because it's not like glued on there. That crown, let me see if I can show you guys. This little throne thing right here is like, there's rivets in there. So the only way to get those rivets out is if you drill out the rivets. Ain't nobody got time for that, man. Literally, the only way you can get that thrown out, I called it a crown, it's actually a throne. Is it a throne? Crown, throne, whatever. It's only if you drill it out, which sucks. So like, if, you, if you're me and you like to powder coat your bikes, you ain't gonna really have time to be drilling out rivets and then how you gonna put it back in especially if you don't have a rivet gun this is all in all great bike you know i got a lot of stuff planned for this bike i gotta start to build on my black bike that's gonna be sick you guys are gonna love it i think i'm gonna probably link up with eddie so he can help me build up that bike because he needs to help me put the stickers on because eddie's like honestly a goat at putting stickers on these bikes any other bike like se bikes i could put stickers on the easy but on these for these bikes because the throne is like in a certain position on the frame so you see where it's at eddie's like good with that so i'm gonna leave that up to eddie with that being said that's gonna be it for today's video if you guys enjoyed it please like comment subscribe if you're new to the channel let's get your boy to 10k and yeah stay tuned for the next video peace out